So here's a small piece of the fly through that we're creating in this series. So it looks pretty good for the most part, but there's a few places where it doesn't quite work. Here, for example, in our current version of the video, we can see that the camera actually goes under the ground. So to edit the Pegasus, we go to the Pegasus Manager, and then we can use this visualization tool to look at what the camera would be seeing at any particular point along the path. And so we can use this to identify places that we don't like. For example, if I step through this visualization from here, we'll see that we actually go through this tree. So how do we actually stop that from happening? We need to find that tree on the path. So let's go over here to where the path starts and then we can follow the path and we'll quickly find the tree. There it is. And we can see that there's this point on the path here and there's a second point just after that there, which is on the other side of the tree. So if we manipulate the position of those two points, we can make that path go around or over uh, or before the tree, whichever way we want to go. So let's move those around, maybe go around the back side of the tree here. Okay, that looks good. Maybe just move it back a little bit, just have a bit of a curve on that, that's looking good. But if you look down here, the camera is still looking at the tree itself. And that's because we're using this target object to sell, tell the camera where to look. So we can drag this down here and look at the house. There is this other approach, however, we can tell the camera to look along the path and that will then follow the path the camera will turn as the path turns around. But in this case, we want to be able to continue to look at the same point on the house for two different points on this uh, overall Pegasus. So let's move this over to where the house is. And this is just a case of dragging the target for the camera around until you've got it in just the right place. So we're fast forwarding over this piece. You'll see that I moved the point after this one to be pointing at the same spot and also the one after this. So we have three points all looking at the same spot. OK, that looks like it's the same location. So let's have a look at this piece here. Um, clearly this bit around here is not looking so good, but we should look at the visualizer and make sure that we've done this piece correctly first. So we're coming down towards the house. That's looking straight on at the house nicely. Oh, that was a little bit rapid, that turn into those logs. So maybe we should just remove this point here. Um, let's see what that looks like. So let's step through on the visualizer. That's much more gentle. That looks pretty good now. I like that. So next we have to deal with this rather sharp corner here. So again, it's just a case of moving around the POIs, the, the orange blobs there, yellow blobs rather, uh, until the path looks right. So let's fast forward as I do that. So I think I've pretty much nailed that now. Uh, let's go into the visualizer and take a look, see what it looks like. We'll step through from here. Okay, goes into the grass a bit. That looks kind of okay. And we come around, go over the logs nicely, and then come around. There's no silly little loop there, and just over the top. Perfect. So let's play that back and see what it looks like in real time. We come through in our approach to the house. Everything, of course, looks good here. We haven't changed anything. We come around the back of the tree, look at the house, fly over. That looks pretty good. So now let's go to that piece that we saw at the beginning of the video where the camera actually goes underneath the ground. That was over here, and there we can see how it goes under the ground. So we'll do our usual fast forward over me moving this stuff around. And now we'll go into play mode. We fly close to the ground, but not under it, and then come up over the mountains and come in for the finish. So there's one more thing I want to do. Um, it's moving a bit fast. So let's go to the Pegasus Manager. And we're currently moving at 40 meters per second. So let's drop that down to maybe 30 meters per second. 
set that across the board and we'll make sure auto roll is turned on and now we can play this back it'll play back a bit slower um, we'll probably still find that in places like where it goes through the house uh, it's probably still a bit fast uh, but here it looks pretty good um, we'll maybe tweak it later uh, and what you can do if you do find it's too fast at places is you can slow it down for that individual point. So there was very rapid. We should slow it down on those points as they go through the house. OK, so here we are back again at the near final rendering that we have. Um, you can see there's quite a lot of changes between what we just did, but you can also see that we're uh, gradually moving towards this final solution. This fly through, for example, looks almost identical. We've just changed the speeds as we discussed. So in the next video, uh, we're going to be improving the lighting. You will have noticed that the lighting here is much richer, much nicer than in our current version. So see you on the other side.